How are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. If we are just meeting, my name is Kathy and this is my Tweety Bird. Tweety, say hi. <laughs> In today's video, I have a couple adorable flower plants. I love giving plants as gifts for all different occasions because they last longer than um, fresh cut flowers, right? And they're so beautiful. Um, when you get them like this, they're inexpensive. You can pick them up in a grocery store on the farm. Uh, but you know, you have to add a little something, something, right? To make it more special. And this is what I'm gonna do today. As usual, it's gonna be adorable, creative, and not the budget. If you like these type of videos, please press thumbs up button. Consider subscribing to my channel. The moment you press the red button, you become my bestie, our bestie, right, Tweety? <laughs> and we're gonna have so much fun here, okay? Let's get started. Who's this? Tweety, Tweety, you dangling over there on my hair. <laughs> So get you a flower pot. I got sick lemon. Usually they come in pink or purple. I was happy to find white. And then when I saw red, I decided to get two because these are Polish national colors. So this will be a thoughtful gift for somebody who's Polish, but you don't have to get two. Just pick a favorite color and I'll show you how to decorate I it. went outside to look in my husband's firewood for a piece of bark or something rustic that I could use for this arrangement. I especially love birch wood because it reminds me of Poland. We have a lot of birch trees there. So typical of Polish countryside. And uh, as you can see, the bark was very easy to peel off and look how gorgeous that looks. Walmart and craft stores sell birch bark, but it's not cheap. That's why it's worth looking outside. Or you can look at the Dollar Tree. They have a great cheap substitute. Have you seen this ribbon? You actually get 18 feet for $1.25. What a great deal. I love it. So when you get your flower pot, it's gonna come in this cheap uh, plastic cover. I'm not crazy about it, so I'm gonna remove it. I watered these plants a night before, and I think I poured a little too much, so I recommend either not watering them or just slightly, okay? It's gonna make your life easier. Uh, wipe those pots clean because we are going to glue them. We are going to need these supplies, a piece of wood. You can buy it at the Dollar Tree if you cannot find one around the house. A small dish or a plate for under your pot. Moss, you can find moss at a Dollar Tree, the green one or Spanish moss, whatever you get your hands on, maybe moss stones. And some double-sided tape for a strong hold. We are going to set our pots on this piece of wood. So you want your piece to be a little bit larger than your pot. I have two in this case, that's why I have a long one. We are going to put the pots in little dishes like that. So the, any water that might be leaking after you water your plants, it will stay in that dish. I would like to cover these pots with the bark. And let me just see. It looks like my piece is a little bit too tall. But of course, I don't want to cut it, so we're just going to have to raise that pot. I have a little lid here that I could use, so I'm just going to attach it with some double-sided tape. And then I'm going to attach the little dish tray on top. And let's see how it's going to all fit now. Oh yes, this is perfect. Let's uh, try the second pot first though. Yeah, I like how it's gonna be asymmetric now, you know, it makes the arrangement uh, more appealing to an eye, right? Instead of two even flowers in a row. All right, so that's prepared and let's put on the bark. It is not as uh, wide as I wish, there is a little space there, but it's okay. We're gonna do that on the inside, so it's not gonna be that visible. And we're gonna use a little bit of hot glue on there to attach it to the pad. Okay, and now with the second pad, we are just going to wrap it with that bark ribbon.
I'll just use a little bit of hot glue here and there to attach it. And here we are going to make the seam on the side. Let me just show you what I'm thinking to do. See how it is here when the bark splits, it peels and curls up. That's what I'm going to try to recreate. Sort of, because, you know, this is thin. So I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue. Curl it up so it stays there. And this ribbon is like paper. It's easy to rip. So just play with it, curl it, bend it. Try to imitate the real look. And I think it's already looking pretty amazing, right? For a cheap ribbon. <laughs> if you have some black paint on hand, you can even make some dirt stains, you know? But I'm just gonna keep going because I have to give this gift soon. So I'm patching up that hole with a little bit of that paper ribbon from the inside. You see? It's all an illusion. It's looking great already. <laughs> And over here at the top where I have the plastic pad showing, I'm just going to cover that with moss. And then that's like in nature, right? You often see moss growing on the tree trunks. And we are going to make that moss spread. We need to cover the bottom of the second pad as well. You know, the ribbon, again, wasn't as tall as the pad with the little tray. So I, I lined it to the top because it's visible there. But the bottom, I knew I could cover with moss. So that space needs to get covered now. And whatever moss I have left, I'm just going to add in between. Actually, you know what? I need to save a little bit. I need some at the top here. You see, if you see the patch showing anywhere, that's what you do. <laughs> Camouflage. <laughs> we need some over here on this one to make it look more realistic. I still have some empty space in the front, so I'm thinking to use this small piece of wood that I also found. I'm just gonna use some double-sided tape. It holds up really well. Got it at a Dollar Tree. The only thing is um, don't use your good scissors to cut it, because now my scissors are all, all sticky. Um, I still can see a little bit of plastic through that tax hole, so let me just stuff it with some Spanish moss. Imagine if I had a tiny little fox to put in there <laughs> or a squirrel. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. <laughs> I love the texture of Spanish moss. I'm going to add a little bit on the other side as well. I just remembered that I got this uh, beautiful spray of bird's nest from the greenery market. And I'm just going to add one over here. How beautiful, right? Just the perfect touch. If you don't have a bird's nest, you can make one. I have a DIY tutorial on my channel. It's really easy and inexpensive to do. Another option would be to get a nice uh, tree branch and put that across your arrangement. That would also create nice interest. This is a birthday gift, so I'm just going to attach one of these laser cut words from the Dollar Tree. Happy birthday, right there. I just thought of something. A cute little mushroom would make a perfect cherry on top here. What do you think? I love the pop of red and white, just like our flowers up there. Oh, love it. If you do too, please give me those little mushroom emojis. 
That brings uh, childhood memories to me too. When I was little, Dad would take us to the woods, mushroom picking, and of course, the first mushrooms I would love to see were those red ones. And Dad said, no, they're poisonous, don't pick them up. <laughs> I'm going to reinforce it with some of those moss stones from that olive tree. It needs a moment to dry and I'm gonna add some of these stones all around. Any empty spaces, just put some interest there. We can add something on this side as well. How about this little angel? Another option would be to add some figurines from the Dollar Tree Fairy Garden collection. I don't know if you saw the frame that I created, but you can watch it for some inspiration. This is just a pick from ShopRite Floral Department. And I'm gonna glue him there and make it look like he's sitting on a rock and praying meditating in the woods. How about that? Oh, so precious. When done, step back, take a look at your arrangement, see what else you can touch up, like maybe adding some moss here and there. And I have a cute little lady bag button that's from Walmart. And I think I'm just gonna add one here. I remember when we were kids, if we caught a ladybug, we would count the spots to know how old it is. Did you used to do that? If you like, May is the month of Blessed Mother, so I picked out some flowers in my garden and I'm going to make one more DIY. When my friend passed, her family was tossing out a lot of stuff, so I saved this planter vase. It's slightly chipped, but I gave it a good cleaning and it looks beautiful. You can find something similar on eBay for around $15. So I picked whatever I have in my garden. It's still not much early spring in New Jersey, but we're gonna honor Blessed Mother with a bouquet. We're not spending anything here except maybe some wet floral foam. I actually have a packet of uh, plant food that I'm gonna use. Once the foam soaks up the water, we are going to cut it to size and put it in a vase. It's a little bit awkward opening there, but we're gonna make it work. It's like deeper on the inside, but the opening is small. So we're just gonna play around a little bit here. I cut an extra cube over here on the side. So on the one end is a little bit higher than the other because I want to add the tulips here on the side so they can stick up more above her head. Let's see. I like to use the flowers to my advantage looking at these stems. You see like this one is curved, just like the statue, it's perfect. We're gonna insert it right there. How beautiful are these tulips, by the way? They're my favorite, they come back every year. Uh, lucky that squirrels didn't eat them so far. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna make a, like a cluster of these tulips here on the side. 
um, just trimming the stems. If you cut it at an angle, it's easier to insert it. And even uh, their leaves, they have a white stripe, which is perfect here. I think I'm just gonna curl it up maybe. Insert there behind the foam. Oh, so pretty. And on the other side, we are going to add some of these tiny flowers. Again, make them work um, to your advantage, spreading out like they grow in my garden. I think it's called Cummins Baby's Breath, if you're wondering. So some of it is cascading down, um, other parts are like just growing straight up. So that's how I'm gonna arrange it. Just very natural look, spread it around the vase, uh, not worrying about symmetry at all. And here I have some little paper white lilies. They smell so beautiful. I believe they from the Narcissus family. Again, trimming the stems and just inserting them behind. Oh, what a fragrance. Okay, and now I'm just going to fill in with some more baby's breath. And now I'm going to insert some of these azalea tips that I trimmed. I love that it's red and it's going to bring that color to the other side of the vase as well, right? Because we have some pop of red in those tulips on the other side. So we definitely need some more here. And now we can fill in it with some more baby's breath. A little more right here up front. I think these rose leaves would give a good contrast here. Let's see. I think this flower is covering her face too much, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of clear tape and attach it to her head. Cover that chip that's there, actually. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we could make a crown for her. What do you think? I'm going to pull out these little blooms from the back and tape them to her head. Being gentle and careful not to crush the little flowers, or pull out the stem from the floral foam. I uh, still wanna make sure that these flowers drink water. I think it's cascading too much over here. I'm just gonna remove it and put it behind. Add to the crown. Oh Mary, we crown thee with blossoms today. Queen of the angel, queen of the May. Please give us good health, 
the protection every day and every night. Amen. Let's spray the whole arrangement with water so it lasts longer. And for a cherry on top, we are going to add a rosary. I have one coordinating color. And let's see, we are going to wrap it around her head. We are going to use a couple glue dots to hold the rosary in place. And here's the look at the finished arrangement. Green flowers on the prairies, spring flowers on the prairies, from garden and woodland and hillside and hill. Our full hearts are swelling, our glad voices telling, the praise of the you did please press thumbs up consider subscribing if you haven't already that way you're not gonna miss the next video okay see you next time take care my bestie i love you bye bye <laughs> tweety you're gonna say something okay i forgot that top of my head was yours <laughs> the angel spoke god's message to mary hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold. You know what happened to my heart? What happened to your heart? Well, when the first time I told you, I, when I saw you, my heart fall in love with you.